Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be reacting to day six again. Um, I feel like with day six, I've gone through like this uphill battle because when they first came on the scene, I really loved them. I loved basically all of their songs, everything they put out because I'm a rock girly at heart. I love that kind of vibe that day six gave. And then they just kept going. And then after shootout, I kind of lost interest. And like, this is just, I think this happens sometimes as a, an avid listener of music. Um, I've mentioned, I've talked kind of about this on my channel before, but for those of you who don't know, um, I am a musician. I'm classically trained in the U S like I really, before I got into K-pop, I was really struggling with like the pop music of the time and like really connecting with any of that. And, um, that's how I found K-pop and I got really interested in it. And so, um, day six was one of the first groups that I actually got into, uh, because they debuted right th around the time I got into K-pop. And it's just one of those things where I would like have loved them for so long. But then after, um, shoot me, I might have said shoot out my bad titles are not my strong suit. Okay. <laughs> Do any of you guys have that problem? After Shoot Me, uh, I really wasn't connecting with any of their title tracks. And when I don't tend to t connect with title tracks, I tend not to listen to B-sides. Um, it's just because the title track is the first thing that's supposed to capture your attention. That's why it's the title track. And so when you, when you don't capture my attention and it's been several times since you captured my attention, then I tend to like be like, well, maybe this isn't for me. Like, and that's fine. Like day six wanted to go like a different way creatively. And that was fine with me, but I wasn't vibing with that. And so I kind of fell off the bandwagon. Um, and then young K released, um, a couple of good songs this, this year. And so I've been trying to, i like, okay, like day six, come out with another, <laughs> another song so that, that maybe I'll, I can get back into them. So I don't know. I feel like this is, uh, for me, this is like a music fatigue thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this where you just go through your ups and downs with groups. Um, because, uh, I've definitely felt that with several of the groups in, that I really love in my life. But it's made me really sad because I miss I miss the boys and I um, I still support them and what I can. But when you don't en you aren't enjoying what they're putting out, just because it's not something you're relating to, then that's difficult. So um, I am hoping that this is going to change my mind. And let's go ahead and get into it. This is Day Six's meltdown. Okay. I already like it, <laughs> which makes me happy. It's been a while. That playoff from Sungjin to Yonkei was great. Oh, one pill fill that sounds great. I like the blasts of paint coming up. This is kind of like bright rock. I kind of like it. Little, little on the happier side. <laughs> I'm so used to, to young K wondering what hurt him, and this one is not like that, which makes me happy. Ooh, the 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 powder coming out of the windows was cool. It's kind of like a this is like really all these words are like really uplifting. I love it. Ooh, that breakdown going down the scale. Also, so it kind of reminds me of like AC Slater with his hair hair curl like that. I'm dating myself. <laughs> I 
has such a pretty smile, too. It's a piano. Very nice. Dolan sounds great on the drums, too. It's normal. I love how the song, it feels like it's pushing forward a lot. Was that supposed to be a snowman who melted? <laughs> That's kind of sad. <laughs> but not. Um, yeah, so definitely, yeah, this is, this is a song that finally, um, I think might break the curse for me. It's been, like I said, several, several years since Shoot Me, and like, I haven't felt anything, and now this is a bop. I'm telling you, I think music fatigue is a real thing, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I just need to go away from something for a little bit to come back and like, be like, great. It was really good. Day 6 is, is amazing. They've always been amazing. I was um, really surprised, and I mentioned this, that um, this was, like, so uplifting. <laughs> Not because they don't have uplifting sounds. I mean, like, Dance Dance is one of my favorite songs from them. But I'm so used to their title tracks being something where Young K, I'm like, who broke your heart? Young K, please. Who broke your heart because your lyrics... And you're just killing me. <laughs> Whereas this is much different from that. It's like opposite. It's like, oh, I found you. And like, now it's my turn to like uplift you and everything. And I loved the color. The col the, the, the music video was really clever. I really like how they use those pops of color throughout the entire MV to really like emphasize certain parts of what they were saying. And it was really fun. And I, um, Love that Sungjin looks like um, A.C. Slater with his hair like that. Uh, <laughs> they all look great. They all sound great. Yeah. Day 6 is just one of those bands where I just, even though they didn't like form, they kind of form, they formed under a company. I feel like they're a really strong group that has a really good bond and they re really mesh well together. And so um, it is a testament to them staying together for so long. Uh, obviously, you know, Jay's not here any longer due to lots of dis different circumstances. But um, I'm glad that Day6 has stayed true to themselves through all of that. And they sound amazing. And just like themselves. And that's what we're looking for. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to li listening to the rest of this. Um, I'm assuming it has an EP. Uh, and we'll go go from there. Tell me, what do you guys think of this song from Day 6? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Who's your bias in Day 6? Um, actually, I tried to go to their concert a while back because I was like, oh, I know if I see them live, then I'm going to fall in love with them all over again and want to be there. Um, but guys, if you thought that it was hard to get into some concerts, a Day 6 concert was difficult to try to get into. I could not get tickets to save me. <laughs> so... For those of you who got to go, jealous. I'm sure it was amazing. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.